Oh, hey, hey, Susanna. You know what I'm doing yeah. right now? Ski resort! We just passed the ski resort. This is my Are marketing. Are you filming while we're talking? I am. It's another day and we're on the mountain working. Actually, we're gonna be sanding the walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's our first step. We're gonna get the walls smooth before the paint goes on and that's super important for a good looking paint job. And uh, <laughs> this is what Jamie's using. This is a pole sander with a swivel round head. And that's what you do when you don't have a sanding disc. Hold that for me. Yep. I've got new sanding discs, okay? Appreciate that. So you can use that. Thanks. I've also got you goggles. Oh, wow. So you don't look like uh, the abominable snowman by the end of the day. <laughs> and also, I met a pro painter at the paint store. No way. He said to put Vaseline all over your oh. eyebrows and eyes and face Yeah. before you paint. And then the paint won't stick to your skin or your eyes. It'll stick to that. Okay. But then you got to wash that off, I guess. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm going to think <laughs> gonna about it. We're going to try it for sure. I'm going to think about it <laughs> while you try it. Done. You're doing it. <laughs> you didn't get the memo this morning? Oh, my gosh. Neon Friday. <laughs> you guys are super high viz. You know what? I feel like I've finally outdone Ray with the GoPro. It's a sanding pole go mounted GoPro. <laughs> this is going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be something, all right. <laughs> Whoa, it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> I knew it'd be awesome. <laughs> Look at it, Ray. All right, Bob, we're taking it to the next level. <laughs> Go crazy, man, sand something. Hey, pro tip, actually, be careful around I these. Know, you can feel so. the paper. Yeah, I know. I didn't touch yeah, he knows. He's already pro. I think everybody's seen a drywall sanding pole with a little rectangle head on it and you can put sandpaper on it. Mm -hmm. We used to use those because that was the only kind we could get, but I don't like those anymore because when they flip over and it happens a lot, the little wing nuts on the back, they are they just like drag a big slash into your surface and then mm. you've got to patch something and it happens multiple times in a room. Man, that drive you crazy. So these, these don't flip over. That's really yeah. why I like them. Yeah, they don't um, tend to, like when you're going down the wall, they don't tend to catch and... Yeah, they that. won't tip over. They're real easy to change the paper on, the sticky back. And uh, it's got this nice edge here that you can actually run against the ceiling and the, the thing will spin and actually guide along the ceiling. And that way you're not scuffing the ceiling, but it also gives it a good sanding action. Wow. Up there against that You should edge. be a salesperson for these things. Well, I mean, I just... Uh, I'm sold. I'm, hey. I'm, I'm totally getting one. I just, Wait, I got one already. <laughs> oh, you already do. That's right. Yeah, we've worn out a couple of these actually till the head. So what brand off. is this if people are wondering? Okay, Gold Blatt. Blit. Gold blit. <laughs> Gold blit. We have like three or four different kinds because every time we need one, we just grab whatever's available. And I haven't found one that I don't like yet. Cool. So the reason you have to sand the drywall is to make the entire surface of drywall on top of the primer the same smoothness. So you may not know, but when you sand the mud on the drywall, uh, it can fuzz the paper around that. And then when you go to paint it, those little fuzzies kind of harden and give it this texture that looks terrible actually. So uh, the sanding makes the entire surface smooth and even. And if you don't do that, you can put 20 coats of paint on, on the drywall and it'll still never look good. Even though our drywall guys did a great job on this, the guys that were cutting around the outlets got a little loosey goosey on some of them. There's a few spots. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh no, can't, which part of it? Loosey goosey. Okay. I just need to fill in a few little spots because I know these switch plates are not going to cover and I just want to go ahead and take care of it before I get paint on the wall. Good move. How's it feel? Nice. Yeah. You getting ready to paint? Uh, yeah. You know what time it is. Who's going to apply this? I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> not, <laughs> not it. Not it. <laughs> You're it. It's going to help you out. Oh, I, you know I got this tip from a real pro and, painter. And what at exactly the... did he say? 
the paint will not stick to your skin, and then you can just wipe the, the Vaseline off your face. Why don't we skip this and I can just wipe the paint off? <laughs> paint sticks more than that. Where this is I, made for your skin. This what, is good right? for your skin. What, it's dermatologist recommended. All right, we're done talking. Let's oh do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, me did this. <laughs> it's nice and thick. I don't. I just don't know. This is what wrestlers do, so you don't get you know yeah, cuts. Cut. I yeah. don't want to be. Oh my gosh. Looking great. Your skin's glistening. What about that? It looks so good. Is that all? Is that it? <laughs> Am I done? Blow your eyes. Look like you're 24. <laughs> Blow my eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. That's taking like 10 why years are we, off. You. Why are we doing all right, this? I think that's going to be great. That's it? Yep. And this is going to help me somehow. Sure. You'll, sure it is. <laughs> Y'all are full of it. That's all I know. <laughs> These two, you just looked so bad yesterday when you got done. So, I don't know. <laughs> why did I just put Vaseline on my face if I'm going to cover it up with goggles? Vaseline will get the spot the goggles didn't cover. Now you're ready. I feel like I'm going snorkeling. <laughs> you look great though. <laughs> done already uh rain i've been busy out here sitting on your trailer make sure it doesn't blow away yeah we got you true test right now let's see if it helped there you go uh, is this clean i don't know where that's going <laughs> it's right there, it's right there. okay whatever all right let's see how this goes here uh, i think it really helped yeah you think so oh yeah yeah i mean it came right off yeah really yeah. i think that's pro tip of the day Wipe Vaseline all over your face. <laughs> and it'll keep you cleaner. Okay. All right, awesome. Fair enough. Thank you. You should put it all over your arms. <laughs> yeah. Next time. There's always next time. Lathered up in that stuff. <laughs> you know what I forgot that I got you as well? What? A suit. Shouldn't you give this to me before <laughs> I like, painted? I know, I forgot that like I Like an hour it. ago. <laughs> Would have been so, good. Next time. Okay, next yeah. time. All right. That's it for the ceiling painting. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, though, it can seriously be hard to see where you painted because you're painting over white primers. White over white is the not fun. The ceiling paint is white, so it can be hard to tell. So the best way to tell is to look at the, the glossiness or the sheen of it when it's wet, and you can see where you painted or not. Right now, it's all glossy, but when it dries, it'll be all matte and flat. It'll be beautiful. Well, the painting is done. Well, the ceilings are painted and we are headed down to meet the cabinet delivery truck. We're going to meet them at a commercial location. Like I mentioned, we're going to put them on our trailer, haul the trailer to the shop and they're flat packed uh, in boxes. So that'll be another huge project is us assembling <laughs> uh, by us. I mean, Ray and Jay <laughs> and me, we're going to assemble the cabinets and uh, probably on site, but that's what we're doing. We're also downloading. Oh yeah, we got some awesome drone, drone shots. Footage. Yeah, finally got the drone out. So. Friday and that's a wrap for the day and for the whole week actually and I think it's only like two o'clock so that's awesome I got some furniture to build in the shop I got some sitting around to do and editing videos what are you gonna do Ray something there's always something in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so hey we've got our kitchen cabinets uh, that's all of them on this one trailer they're flat packed and we're gonna you know turn them into cabinets here next week thanks for building with us today we'll see you on the next one Hey, you got any plans this weekend, Ray? Uh, 
I don't know why. You want to assemble some cabinets? We got a whole trailer load for you. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think I'm busy. All right, Ray, good week. Yep. See you in the morning. Oh, no, I'll we'll see you Monday. Cabinets. No. Assembly. I got stuff and things I gotta do. If you're wondering how much you should sand the walls if you're gonna do this like we're doing, there's a couple ways you can tell when you're done. You can feel it with your hands and see if it's smooth. You're also getting some feedback from the sander pole. You can feel that it's like grabbing and catching when you're, <laughs> when you're sanding across a rough surface. And then when you're sanding on a smooth surface, obviously there's less resistance. But also the sound of it changes when you're sanding on a really oh, rough spot. No. You can hear <laughs> that it's just really grinding the rough, I'm about to give you some feedback you can, on this. <laughs> you can tell by the sound of it, and when you go back over a smooth area, it sounds different. So I decided to analyze the sound a little bit, and after doing uh, just a quick little bit with Ray sanding here, I can see, go ahead and sand a little bit, Ray, so they can see what's going on here. This is super new spot or old Yeah, go new spot. You can see that you get a really high uh, frequency. I'm gonna shut up. Come up right by the phone here, Ray. There we go. Okay, hold up a second. You can see it's really peaking in the eight to 10K range. As you sweep back oh, over oh, a, oh, a, oh. a smooth area, <laughs> that'll drop off a little bit. So I'm hearing the difference, but I'm also using this uh, just to show you that you can visually see there is a difference so that you can know that I'm not crazy. Doubt that. <laughs> <laughs>